What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Terrence. I'm a third year medical student in Philadelphia. I'm gonna be bringing you guys through a vlog for this one. It's been a long time. Last time I picked up the camera was like probably over a year ago. And I'm, I'm really sorry for all the, the long hiatus. I'm sure a lot of you guys have subscribed to me since then and wanted to see some new content. Well, here's the new content. Um, I'm gonna be going to an orthopedic conference this weekend. So I wanted to vlog it for you guys and bring you guys along for the journey. And yeah, we're about to go to Atlantic City for the conference and we're gonna get going in a couple hours. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. So we are here, we made it to Atlantic City. Um, beautiful hotel, beautiful room. I'm excited to be here for, uh, actually this is my second time at this conference, uh, the Eastern Orthopedic Association uh, annual meeting. I'll be presenting two studies tomorrow uh, for like four, uh, four, they're like rapid fire, four minute rapid fire presentations. Um, second time presenting here, the last time was actually a year ago and I was actually planning to vlog it. I, I'll put the clip here. I, I promise you I was going to vlog it. Today I want to bring you something new. I'm actually going to be hopping on a plane in a few hours to Nashville, Tennessee and I'm going to be presenting tomorrow at an orthopedic conference. I'll be on the podium for the first time in person and I'm really excited but really nervous and I think this would be a great opportunity to bring you guys along. But what actually happened was my flight uh, that I was supposed to be on got delayed, it got canceled, I had to, I got like no sleep the night before, I had to fly in the morning of, it was a whole mess and that, that just like ruined my entire mood for like wanting to record it. Um, but otherwise like it's been a long time since I've uploaded a video and a lot's happened since I last recorded a video back in like when I was a second year medical student. I finished my preclinical years, studied for step one, I passed step one successfully and, I'm, and that's out of the way. I actually got engaged uh, to my girlfriend at the time, now my fiance, uh, in April, and then I started clinical rotation. So there was a lot of stuff that was going on, and honestly, like, YouTube was the last thing that I was uh, even thinking about uh, doing. Um, I always had, like, oh, I wanna make videos, I wanna get back into the group of things, I wanna talk about rotations, but uh, life just kept, like, going, going. I was doing more research than I uh, was before. I was trying to do my best to do well in my rotation, so kind of YouTube just fell to the back burner, but. I think I've, I've caught myself a little bit now. I've finished about half of my rotations and I feel good. I feel like I'm in a good place to kind of like return to YouTube and start producing a little bit of content for you guys. But that's where we are right now. Um, I'm going to prepare for my presentation tomorrow for the rest of the night. I have an early presentation, early morning presentation around 8 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. And then uh, I'll check in with you guys in the morning to see how everything's going and periodically throughout the conference talk to you a little bit about my experience uh, presenting and uh, what it's like coming to a conference. So it is the next morning, about 7.20 a.m. right now. Presentation's at eight o'clock, and right now I'm gonna go downstairs, get some breakfast, enjoy some of the talks that they have and the introductions that they have prior to my presentation. I'm lucky that my presentation is like on the first day, one of the first sessions, I get to get them out of the way early and then enjoy the rest of the conference. So I'm gonna go head downstairs now and check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, so it is about 11.30 right now, wrapped up my presentations. They went well um, overall. Um, I practiced them tons of times and it went just as smoothly as kind of like when I practiced them. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, didn't get too many like hard pressing or difficult questions, which was also nice. Um, and was told that everything went smoothly. So um, I'm happy about that. Ran into some residents for my program as well as some medical students. So it was good seeing them. And I have a couple other people 
um, that I was able to kind of catch up with that I, and really meet for the first time that I've worked on different research projects with uh, from different programs and, and things like that. So it's been really, really good. Um, I've just been listening into different talks uh, so far this morning and the rest of the afternoon will be more uh, presentations and talks as well. Just kind of really trying to soak up everything. I feel like as a medical student, especially in something as technical as orthopedics, a lot of the stuff kind of just goes over your head if you, uh, because you're not operating, like you could do as much research as possible, you could read the literature, but until you get in there and you're actually like operating and you're talking about the technical details of the operation and techniques and uh, patient care, um, it's really hard to really conceptualize a lot of the, the details that are talked about at some of these conferences. But even as a medical student, you can still take advantage of a lot of the opportunities just to soak up a lot of the knowledge, uh, get talks on different things like leadership in the field or pick and choose which talks you want to go to that you feel um, may be best, uh, best appeal to you as a student. Um, but all in all, so far, everything has been really, really good day one. So far, so good. And I'll catch up with you guys in a little. Right, so we're back in Philadelphia, made it through a weekend in Atlantic City uh, at Eastern Orthopedic Association Conference. Learned a lot, got to meet up with friends, got to meet up with uh, mentors, meet uh, new faculty and attending. So it, overall, it was a great weekend. I wanted to end the video by talking about a few things that I learned from presenting at this conference last year, kind of feeling like an imposter, kind of feeling like a fish out of water, feeling like, you know, I know the least in the room, even though it's my own project, to now uh, kind of going from last year to this year, uh, feeling a, little, a lot more confident in myself, being able to uh, converse more uh, with different attendings, kind of support our research findings and get more confidence in doing so. Just, just sharing a little bit of tips that I feel uh, helped me. Uh, so the first thing uh, that helped build my confidence was just knowing my literature, knowing my study inside and out. I felt like I practiced my presentations a lot more this year. I felt more confident overall, I think, because uh, the projects that I presented this year, I really uh, helped um, build the project from the very beginning to the very end. Uh, so that gave me a lot more confidence in knowing my methodology, knowing why we were doing the study, the relevant literature surrounding the study as well. Uh, and all of those things combine to allow me to present uh, more confidently and answer questions more confidently. The second thing I want to touch on that I feel helped me gain a little bit more confidence in my presentations, helped me field questions better, uh, was just getting out of the kind of imposter syndrome mindset. You feel it a little bit, uh, obviously as a medical student, you know, you know nothing compared to uh, what practicing attendings, people that have been in the field for 20, 30 years uh, know, but uh, one thing that you can control is how well you know your study. And feeling that way and knowing that I had an answer for a bunch of different rebuttals and kind of thinking ahead of like what may be weaknesses of a study, what are limitations in our study that people are probably going to ask about and kind of anticipating those problems uh, helped me kind of get a leg up when it came to answering questions. And the third thing that I think was really beneficial was not only getting more research experience, which allowed me to get more confident, uh, but also just seeing other people present over time. Uh, be, be able to build up my own uh, practice through smaller symposiums, uh, virtual meetings, different things like that. I felt kind of gave me a little bit more uh, flow when it came to my presentations, made me understand, okay, what my presentation is most important? Where should I capture the audience? What do I need to do as far as presenting my findings that'll help people understand uh, what our main findings were and how it's applicable to uh, the current body of literature and medicine going forward. Um, and all those different things combined together, I think, helped me uh, execute on my presentation even uh, better this, this year. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm, I'm kind of getting back into vlogging. I'm getting back into the groove of things, but I hope you all enjoyed. Please subscribe if you are new, if you're watching this video for the first time. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you have subscribed in the past and this is your first piece of content that you're seeing from me for a while, I appreciate you for subscribing and coming along for the journey. Thank you all again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me. Comment down below, like this video if you enjoyed, and let's get it.